But, uh, all right. This is what she stated. Jails and prison. First of all, Angela Davis is like, uh, she defected to uh, France because they tried to set her up. She was the first black woman in the Black Panthers. And so they tried to create a conspiracy uh, short of killing every Black Panther member. They just spread it lies to the FBI. But anyway, she, she, she got over that. But anyway, jails and prisons are designed to break human beings to convert the population into specimens. And a zoo obedient to our keepers, but dangerous to each other. All right, now keep going on that point. Okay, now brothers, if that's not enough to transform the misinformed blue and black uniforms decorated with medals, talking about the cops, cleaning the streets and targeted areas behind the premise of making it better, now whether you're inclined to believe that or not, it has a lot to do with what they do next. Got you now operating under duress, unwanted stress, looking more suspicious now public lynching, Witnessed by eyes and hearts with cruel intentions, predicting how soon they'll make you crack. Like the substance that was created to put you back in bondage. You know crack was created in the 60s yeah. and dropped in L.A., right? Yeah, by the, by, I heard it was by, uh, what's his name, uh, J. Edgar Hoover. Yeah, he had something to do with it. Yeah, he was a main culprit, man, to put you back in bondage. Now, ain't that something? Trying to reunite you with your past history through any channels, lighting candles for your visual, letting you know that in their eyes you're still just a nigga. Still trying to figure out their gimmicks. Betting our young soldiers through musical lyrics laced with dope beats that evokes the spirit whenever they hear it. But the subliminal is a killer releasing chemicals that acts as a stimulant now. A belligerent mind is inclined to react to the tracks that now has become more potent than crack. But the impact is to take you back once again into bondage. Now ain't that something? Little young soldiers now thinking they hit the lottery because they're now the new commodity. Inspiration that turn aspiration. The new sensation in full effect, now being pimped by musical execs, promoting sex, money, and bitches, cutting deep scars too deep for stitches, as the record sales belong to the leeches, while our lives are thrown in the ditches, a false sense of riches, but the addiction is plenty, too quick to understand it, too sick to reprimand it, like government planted handouts, that's more about crippling, like the Tuskegee black man injected with syphilis, government aided genocide, with incentives intended to keep bondage alive. <laughs> Dude, that's hard. That ain't that Damn. Now, go new government is now government assistance in some cases is necessary, but for those who pursue it, they create a man-made mortuary. You are better off cutting your wrists and your capillaries. See, there are various ways to die when you rely on the government poisoning your food with their own set of condiments. See, this level of confidence to your bewilderment is no coincidence, no an isolated incident, but no predicament <laughs> has a power to control the type of role that you choose to play. Rich homie quam, no type of way. Now, ain't that uh -huh. something? Able to navigate your mission while they infiltrate your existence, dismissing any misconceptions or assumed perceptions, leaving no room for questions for your newfound directions. And whether there is any level of acceptance, that's not your concern. Let the embers burn in the incinerator of no return. Keep remembering this is as much your land. No more standing in line hoping you get a turn, chalking it up to a new awareness and new lessons learned. Dude, this shit go hard, bro, man. Damn. Dude, I'll be going, this is, God this is damn, the man. iceberg, man. That was I'll crazy. Be, I be smashing, man. I'll be like, damn, that's why I be telling people. I be telling people. I said, man, I, be, I told your mom, dude. Your mom was like, man, don't tell your mom this, dude. The other day, your mom said, I said, I said, uh, I said, Ryan, Ryan, Ryan is kind of, he, he's teetering on brilliance. He's kind of a semi-genius. And your mom go, what? I said, man, he's a... Uh, I said, the lyrics, I said, man, he's got a, uh, I said, he got a knowledge, man, that he, he's able to, to verbalize in a message that everybody can't do. And then she said, uh, man, your mom is like, I think your mom see you got some smarts, but for some reason, she don't like to acknowledge it. I mean, she do and she don't. Because one day she said, you know, people in uh, in her classroom knew who you was. They knew you more than they knew her, and she was a teacher. And I was like, really? And then she, I think, I think your mom wants you to go in the direction that she wants you to go. I don't even think she thinks that you can get residuals from the music industry. I think yeah, she don't yeah. think you can make a living from it. But she knows you're smart. Yeah, I know you're smart. I know you're smart. Yeah. That's how I knew about your car because I was talking to her. Yeah. And she said, oh, it's in the shop. And I'm not in a, I'm not in a rush to get it out. I need him to think about what's going on. And then I told her, hey, I said, hey, you quit trying to get Ryan life's lessons every single day, man. 